so now i will show you how to copy the uh, column rebars okay select this one and you can select this one also okay copy go grids select the grids make sure that the constraint and multiple should be on you can easily work Now you can see it's all it's only one selected so you can copy yeah that was how you to draw and one more is option is there how to place a automatic ray bar for entire structure like uh, you have to place the uh, ray bar for column like you have to place the ray bar for beams Structural foundation, everything you have to place. I will show you in previous videos. Okay. Before that, we should go with manually first. Then we'll go with the some other plugins. I'm already installed the plugins. Okay. Be carefully before selecting the rebar columns. So, Make one mistake, the entire plan will be affected. Hope I, hope I have copied everything. Select this one. Three. I will check in 3D so you can see the entire ray bar placed for the entire foundation and the column you can see hope you understand guys what i have done uh, you can watch the previous video also again go to cross section you can draw the beams now go to uh, g Ground floor you can draw the section like this like this side it section you can see it's a beam okay select the beam go to rebar first you have to draw the stirrups and check out the stirrup required size or required shape assign it this Select this one and make it as maximum spacing. Done. Now you have to draw the bars. Ray bar. And select this one. Go with parallel. Select it. One. Three. Like this one, maximum. Sorry, sorry. Now it's okay. Go to 3D. You can check it for that. Here, you can make all right graphics category. Transparency is 80% as 60%. You can see the beam section 2. You can see how it looks like. Go to front elevation. You can see the beam. You can make up to here. Here it is. Yeah, fine. Okay, select this uh, ray bar. You can edit also. You can edit a 10 mm dia. You can... Everything is possible. Ready type. You can give the
calculation possible okay. you can edit also as per the drawing you have to design so now i will do one thing ready okay here i have placed for that i will delete this entire beam to make little bit easy The beam is deleted. Now we can copy this beam because we are making copy paste. Okay, copy and can copy this beam like this beam. Copy. Make sure that the multiple and connection this is not the right way to draw the structure, but I will show you alignment. Copy the entire thing, like one. this like this also the right option like the beam I will select the beam and I will copy from send to and hope it's right. Yeah, I'll find the solution. Copy. Because the direction should be same. Okay. You can see. But we are facing some problem for copy pasting. I will show you. Go with 3D. Can see some uh, column alignment are mismatch. Can see you have to draw the column properly, matching it's happening when you are copy pasting out, but it's okay. We are not doing actual project, I will just show you. You can do like this also. So hope you understand guys what I am exactly doing. I am just show you okay. You can see it's mismatching. I cannot do anything and delete it. Also you yeah. first you have to check. Correct. Is it correct? Yes. Copy here. Yeah. Now it's correct. Copy enter correct. This and all you have to delete. Yeah, you have to draw perfect drawing. Okay. Need to hurry. How to learn entire drawing process? Copy like this. 
or how to select this one. Yeah, now it's all correct. Yeah, now it's exactly correct. Need to worry. Okay. Again, go to this uh, one basement. It in basement. Yeah. Basement. Got to draw the cross section from here to here. Can adjust it. Go to this elevation. This the column. Select the column. Go to. Uh, Select the beam, go to rebar. So if I make any mistake, just comments in the comment section. I will make it correct. So parallel, that work. Again, select the beam, rebar. Rebar placement, parallel to the cover, and place it. I will delete so select the syrup it has maximum okay now go to 3d work again go to top view select this one you can copy you can select this point too is it correct yes is it correct and copy further yeah it's correct copy further and select the entire columns like this one here to all correct go to delete it you can check all yeah it's correct copy Not correct again. You have to delete it. First, you have to paste the column. So, it will take some time. Okay, when you are making the first time, it will take some time. This correct, not correct, not correct. Again, you have to delete entire thing from here and copy easily. Again, it's again you have to delete. Also, you can draw also. Copy. way and delete this one and copy from here also copy correct one is not correct can delete this too copy can copy it i'll show you in previous class how to place the uh, i place the entire column copy paste okay. in next class i will explain about the how to place the automatic drawing Hope you are excited. When you're using this plugin, you have to place silly. Okay.
3D, right? So everything is possible in Revit. Uh, transfer in, right? That's why it's shown. Go with the transfer entity. All right, by category. Transfer in. Can select the column transparency all right category around just fine so again you have to place the column from uh, ground floor and you can uh, place the uh, column for first floor also so here is enough i'm just revision all the things next uh, next video i'll show you how to place the column in ground floor Hope you understand guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please support my channel. Thank you very much.